Hey YouTube, this is Roberto Blake and welcome to another Photoshop CC tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to be teaching you sky replacement. Uh, this is going to be quick and simple so let's go ahead and take our stock image and drop it onto our canvas as a smart object. We're going to go ahead and zoom out and resize this just a little bit. I just need this to be a little bigger and we're going to go ahead and click OK. Now for this we're going to need to use a technique um, that I've used in previous tutorials where we actually use the quick mask and refine edge tool. Um, if you're unfamiliar with those tools I have another tutorial that you can actually watch to um, get a little more skilled and polished with those. It's my Photoshop CC masking tutorial. You can do this in any version of Photoshop. You don't need CC. Um, I recommend a version um, like CS3 that has the refine edge and I'm just going to go ahead and mask this out really quickly. You don't really need to um, see me do that in real time. I have a whole other tutorial where I do that with you. Um, so just go ahead and check that out. Uh, once we've go ahead and we've masked this out, decontaminated colors, we're going to go ahead and click OK. And that's pretty much all we're going to have to do to knock the sky out of our background here. Uh, most images for sky replacement won't be super complicated. Um, this is not anything difficult to do. I'm partly doing this as a request um, that one of you um, had in a previous tutorial. So um, that's pretty much all we need to do here. I can toggle on and off and you can see we've created an epic sky. Now I'm going to do a little more with this um, because you do want to blend this into your image um, or you might want to get a certain type of look or effect. I'm going to use a gradient map on soft light and then I'm just going to tone down the opacity to uh, blend this together and create a more ominous sky um, than what we previously had. You can see that blends really well but I'm just going to go ahead and adjust the curves um, like I did in our previous tutorial so that you can um, you know see what that looks like because I still am not a hundred percent happy with this look. Um, that looks a little better and if I really wanted to, I could uh, blend this together further with more lighting by using the dodge and burn tool. But I actually think for our purposes that this looks pretty good and that we've got a much more epic scene than what we previously had. It's almost got a pride rock kind of feel from the Lion King. Um, so again, this is how you do a sky replacement and this opens up a lot more possibilities for this image than we previously had if we were just going to edit over it and adjust the lighting. Um, and that's pretty much how you approach any sky replacement that you're going to do. You know, you're going to go ahead and you're going to mask out your original sky, you're going to replace it with whatever background you want, and then you're going to work on blending the colors together using a combination of curves, gradients, dodge and burn, or whatever other techniques you need to make the images fit more consistently. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned for more Photoshop CC tutorials every Thursday. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe. Let me know what videos you would like me to do a tutorial for. And uh, thanks for watching.